Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking with E. Today we're gonna cook beer brats. All right, for those of you who've never done this, this is uh, extremely easy. You can buy them, already done like that, which they're okay. There's nothing better than actually boiling them in beer. Roughly chop just an onion, let it float around in that beer. And we're gonna chuck these bad boys in there. Cover them with some beer. And I always throw a little bit of seasoning. Today, we're going to be using loot and booty. It's everything rub. I'm gonna throw that in with the beer because these uh, brats will suck up the juice of the beer and everything. And with that in it, you'll actually get some of that flavor inside the brat as well. So just chuck your brats up in there. Get your onion separated a little bit. There. Now well, let's just take them. Let's see. Uh, one for you. One for me. The rest for the brat. Ooh. Somebody's getting it. Let it rip, Tater Chip. Too bad I wasn't out there with them. And I like to make sure I get the brats covered. Right now they're not quite covered, so one for you. One for me. Just cover them up like that. I'm telling you, your mom and I are going to love this. Your mom and I will be like, man, how'd you make those so good? I was watching Cooking with E. There we are. And that'll boil around in there. Like that. And this is, uh, clearly doesn't have a rubber handle or anything, so you can chuck the whole thing in there. All right, here we go. Let them things boil. The cooking temperature today we're using is 375. Make sure it's good and hot before you try and put that pot of love in there, otherwise you're not going to get any boiling for quite a little while. So make sure it's good and hot. So it's been about two, two and a half minutes. Let's take a look here. Oh, yeah. Sorry, get some color in them. I like to get them so they're just a little bit gray and you really start seeing them fill up with that beer before I chuck them on the grill and then I'm gonna leave this on here because I double dip them I'll show you that tip in a little bit stay tuned let's check our progress moving over to this side I usually get a little hotter spot on that side so we're looking for that gray color there we go that's what we're looking for right there so what I'll do then set this lid aside scoop these over here see if I can do this left handed man I wish you could smell that if you like beer brats that's heaven I'll usually take an onion or so Chuck them up on there. Let your bath sit there because we're going to use that again. So, we'll go ahead and shut the lid and let these get some love for a minute. We'll check back in. Let's give these things a flip. Oh, yeah. Starting to sweat them a little bit. go to char them, you'll see I'll line them on the outside so you can see the flame. It's real hot out here. Just another tip. Okay, it's been a couple more minutes. Now I don't do, uh, oh it's 13 minutes and 20 seconds. No, I'm not that guy. If you don't know to look at your food and see when it's done, you need to learn how to do that. That's how you make the best food. So, they're starting to turn a little bit of brown. You can see a little bit bubbling out there. That's when you want to take them and dip them back in. Get them back, everybody back in the pool, man. Put 
them right back in there. I let them sit there for about two minutes. And about two minutes is how long, you know, oh, I had a beer or I had a couple drinks and I feel a little better. Then you check them again. You don't gotta stress out about it. This is the time you get to take your time. And another little tip, don't try and take one of these and flop it in your mouth right off the grill. It'll make your mouth look like a baboon's butt. Trust me, you don't want that. I took them out of the hot tub and I put them on the outside edge. Right along the edge there. Now, you pit boss guys, like uh, Mr. Big Kid, if you haven't had a chance to check him out, he's a heck of a guy on the grill. Um, those guys have a little slider, they can slide it, and then that little forge has some flame and you can get this same effect. But for us Traeger guys, just hang them on the outside, wherever that little pan lets the heat out the edge. You will get the good looking, see that? That is good looking sear. So we're gonna let this side get all nice and happy We'll pull them off. That's gonna be good. All right, it's been another minute or two. These things are looking so happy. Let's check one here. Oh yeah, are you kidding me? These things are awesome. There, I'll pop one down for a little glamour shot. soak them again right before you put them on the plate if you want extra beer flavor. That's up to you. Oh, are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Look at those! Oh, man. Alright, let's give it a shot. I'm gonna make you some of that. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Bye.